the cool thing about Jackson is how everybody's on the same wavelength, but they're all going different directions in life. They're just swimming in the same pool. My name is Nelson, and I am currently living out of my vehicle in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I ended up in my situation partially by choice, but also mainly because of the housing struggle in Jackson. And for being such a pet-friendly town, my beautiful buddy Boudreaux over here presents quite the dilemma for getting a lease. It's probably the worst thing about it is my mom is so worried that I'm going to get eaten by a bear. I'm like, Mom, I grew up in Louisiana with the snakes and the alligators. Like, I'm not worried about a bear. I... I thought I was going to find a place without, um, without looking beforehand because it hadn't been that hard before. And uh, I ended up here because I couldn't find housing right away and it was too expensive. Um, the worst part of living out of my car would be the space. I just, ugh, I don't know where to put this, so I have to call my friend and put that in his storage. My name is Patience Melton, and I ended up in my situation because I was looking for housing two months in advance and couldn't find any. Um... The reason I decided to camp and live in my car was because when I sought other options, they weren't available. So it was technically the only option I had. <laughs> this is how Jackson is. It's, there's not going to be more housing. I don't think the housing will ever be able to keep up, honestly. It's been an issue since the 80s, and I think it's always going to be an issue. This is like a really beautiful land, and if you want to keep it beautiful, uh, you can't accommodate for everyone who wants to live here or else it's going to be a bunch of houses and not beautiful land. 